Ever wanted to be a real cowboy? I have. And today on At Your Leisure, I'm going to show you how you can turn that dream into a reality. I'm Chad Booth. Climb in the saddle with me as I ride the range on a cattle drive with some guests who are living their Wild West fantasy. Then you'll want to join me, Darren Kinder, along with Jill as we hit the bullseye at one destination that has guns, ATVs, camping, and more. Where is it? You'll have to keep watching to find out. On the outdoors with AYL, right now. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here at the North Springs uh, Shooting Range, and this is quite the facility. We're just outside of Price a little ways. Yeah, we're not, it's not too far from Price, but close enough you can go get stuff, but far enough away that you don't hear anything. It's so quiet out here. Yeah, it's really nice. And there's a lot of things to do here. They have long range shooting, which we've done in the past, Jill kicked my butt at. Um, <laughs> There's an old west town, there's even an archery range. And they also have trail systems like crazy, yeah. miles and miles of trails. So, you know, you can go shoot a little bit in the morning, maybe go do some riding, come back and hang out in your camper. And speaking of camper, they do have campground here. It's a dry campground. And, and what we've got for the weekend is Outside Rentals has brought us luxury accommodations. And we are living large. We are we? living large and we're <laughs> excited to go see what they've brought us. Let's go take a look. Look how huge this thing is, oh my gosh. I know, and it comes with a garage as well, man. What? It's got a man cave already. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh, look at this place. It's bigger than our house. <laughs> hey guys. Oh my gosh. Hi, Hi Melissa, how Welcome are you? Welcome to your weekend home. Wow, this is fantastic. Are you gonna give us the tour? Well, you bet. So up here, we've got your master Bedroom. <laughs> wow, this our own shower. Bathroom. And then let's check out your living room, and dining room, your great room. This is just amazing. Look how high the ceilings yeah, are. Yeah, you've got basically vaulted ceilings while you're camping. What other types of uh, RVs do you rent? So we actually rent a lot of different kinds of outside toys. Basically, our idea is go and have fun with your family and friends, make memories. So we've got the, the bumper pulled trailers, kinds you can drive, the fifth wheelers, the toy haulers, but then you need something to put in the toy haulers. So of course we've got your boats and ATVs and all of that. And what's really incredible is you guys actually deliver. Thanks again, Melissa, this is fantastic. We are so excited to be here and to enjoy this amazing trailer. Yeah, but. Let's go do some shooting. We're, we're at a shooting range. Yes, we, I guess we better do that. Okay, let's go. Bank when you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like what's for dinner. Oh, I got him. Nailed him. I don't know if I really want to eat this. So. <laughs> it doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> well, right now we need to get to our travel adventure. Chad's down being a city slicker driving the cattle in. There's nothing more iconic about life in the West than a cattle drive. Now, if you're like me, a kid who grew up in the cities of the West, we spent our childhood dreaming that we would be out here with our 10-gallon hat and our chaps riding the range with Dusty and the gang. Well, now it actually can happen. Many cattle ranches, working cattle ranches, when they move their summer and winter rangelands with their cattle, now invite people to come along. It helps them defray the costs of sustaining the ranching way of life. When you get out on trail with real cowpokes that make their living wrangling cattle and moving them from place to place and taking care of the ranch, you get a different perspective. It's not quite what you see in Rawhide or on one of those old TV shows where you had cattle running across the West, but it is a very daring way of life. 
The Utah Farm Bureau recognizes that there are a handful of rancher operators, not just the Heaton Ranch, that actually get assistance from people who are trying to take working vacations. It's a real trend and it's growing across the West. Now, I'm not out here today because I've got special connections. This is something that anyone like you can do if you desire to do it. And it's a win-win situation because you get the experience and the cattle ranchers get a hand that they desperately need in this day and age. A few extra bodies on a cattle ride makes a big difference, even if they're not super skilled cowboys. But if you can help keep the herd together and moving, that's a big lift for the ranchers. It helps me get my cattle from our summer range to our winter range. Probably the most cost-effective way is trailing them. You know, I think more and more people they grow up in the city and they don't they don't understand where you know where milk comes from, where beef comes from, you know, different things that are raised out in the country basically. So, you know, it gives people an opportunity to come out and see, you know, what it takes to get that meat in the grocery store. After you herd a cow for ten days, you know, sometimes it makes you appreciate the taste of beef a little more, you know. Especially that one that kept trying to get away. Well, this is a vacation that you choose and pay for. It's not one that you can choose to do for just a couple of hours. This is an investment that is all day long, and the days start early. First thing this morning, we got up and, and got a few horses saddled and went out to the range where the cattle were being held before we left. Uh, we gathered them, counted them through the gate, and then we drove them about 10 miles down here to this crell right here trying to not to lose any. I'm sure we did, but we tried hard not to. In the days of the Old West, when they actually drove cattle across the open range from Texas up to the Union Stockyards in Chicago, the largest herds that any cattle operator would run would be about a thousand head of cattle. Well, we were pretty close on this one because as the gate counted through, there were 800 on the trail. While many working ranches from Grass Creek to Monticello here in the state of Utah offer cattle drives, there's one thing unique about the run that the Heaton Ranch makes, and it is the terrain that you go through. I am convinced that if John Houston had known what this land looked like, the set for many John Wayne movies would have been slightly different. You know, what was surprising to me about this cattle drive is I thought they'd be guys like me that, you know, grew up as little kids wearing cowboy boots that were too big and just okay, running around well, pretending that we were cowboys with stick well, horses. Well, but no, these people come from all over the world. On our cattle drive, we had people from England, Australia, France, from really all over the world. You know, I've always thought this job is kind of like traveling around the world but not ever going anywhere. I mean, you get to meet all these people and everybody has a a different story and different experiences. <laughs> There's some very interesting people that you get to meet. And yeah. Basically, it's their little niche in their part of the country, just like we kind of have a niche here. These guys are a great group of people, mm -hmm. and they are doing an outstanding job this time. Sometimes it's not so good, but these guys are great. While this may feel like the Old West, there are modern conveniences. Instead of camp beans and dry biscuits on a fire and a bedroll under a tree, when you end the day, there's a camp with a nice hot dinner waiting for you. And you can guarantee that it will be there in the morning and it'll be there every night. When the sun finally goes down and you're just about ready to think that you've got a 24 hour a day job, the doggies find their pasture and camp is there waiting for you. And as you slide off that saddle and you say, I just can't move anymore, there's still an inner excitement about tomorrow. I don't have legs anymore. <laughs> loved it, loved it. My knees are sore. <laughs> My family were right. I am crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sore and I'm tired and I'm ready for, I think, eight more days or seven more days of this. So it's all good. Well, I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to get to do something that not very many people get to do anymore. I think it's a great, great opportunity for them. I think these guys get to live their dream. I'm glad we get to be a part of it. Well, it's the end of the day. I guarantee that after dinner, there will not be a lot of late stories by the campfire because everybody here is tired. Now, if you think about it, this is one day in 600 days of ranching it takes to get a cow from birth to marketplace. And it's a $12 billion industry here in the state of Utah. Think how hard the cowboys work to earn it. 
Think about that next time you sit down for beefsteak dinner. But at your leisure, I'm Chad Booth. The 2017 Ski Do Summit Sleds. Next generation rev platform. The most powerful two stroke engine in the industry. For the unmatched handling and power to own the next side hill, the next drop, the next ride. Ski Do. What matters is what's next. When the road takes you farther than you knew possible, when the world is more beautiful than you've ever seen, when home is more comfortable than it should be, this is when you know you're in Kane County. The perfect mix of rural and urban, culture and adventure. Glendale, Orderville, Kanab, Big Water, small towns with more to offer than just peace and quiet. Kane County, Utah. Find the new you. Hundred and twelve bedrooms. I put guns on top of the channel so if a bubble comes I can kill them. A ten feet of couch. Very girly. Guns on the walls. Some flowers on it. A lot of beds to fit all my family. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Reagan Ledbetter. The air is a little bit cooler. The leaves are turning. Soon, it's going to be winter. We're at Hillside Tire and Service. I'm standing next to Tom, and we are needing to maybe winterize our cars, I'm thinking. Start thinking about it for sure. Yeah. Um, fall time, you just start thinking about winter coming up and getting your car prepared so you don't get stuck somewhere where you don't want to be when it's very, very cold, no, whether I... it's uh, jump starting or just issues with the vehicle on the road somewhere, so. What's the first thing I need to think about? Um, I would worry, I would get your coolant checked. It gets really cold, so I'd make sure your coolant level protection is gonna be cold enough to handle the temperature so that nothing doesn't hurt your engine, per se. Um, then I would probably go to your tires. Obviously, the air pressure is gonna drop in your tires. You wanna make sure you have adequate air pressure so you don't cause an issue with your tires. Do I need to be changing my tires to any kind of winter tire, or is my average tire gonna make it through the winter? Um, that would be the third thing, would be checking tread depth, or checking, checking your tire wear. Um, so some tires are actually mountain flake rated in all season, which means they're gonna be adequate for the winter time. If you're driving most of the time in the valley, a good all season tire should be adequate for you. If you're going to be going up to the canyons or whatever, you might want to get something a little bit more aggressive or, or, or a winter tire. Uh, most of it's just your traction. Um, just having a good tire. Obviously, if you're off-roading stuff, it's probably going to be deeper snow or wherever you're going. Um, more kind of uh, almost like putty, so it's going to stick together. So you want something that's going to clean the tread base out easier so you get better traction and don't get stuck. All right, and tire pressure, it's like the located on my tire. It'll tell me plaque. what I need. On your uh -huh. tire or to make it easier on your door plaque or in most vehicles on the driver's side, if you open that, it'll tell you what the factory recommends. Part of uh, doing a winter check on your vehicle would be checking your wiper blades as well. Obviously, if it's a nice rainstorm or snow, you want to be able to clean your windshield off so you can continue to see where you're driving. Um, part of it is as well as the washer fluid. Um, there's different types of washer fluid. We generally use the winter washer fluid so it doesn't freeze. Are cars usually in good shape when they come in here, or are you thinking, oh gosh, people need to really pay attention to their vehicles better? You'd be surprised in the middle of winter when it's snowing that people come in with ball tires and stuff and they leave with ball tires. It's just something they don't want to spend money on. So it's, it's amazing every year that uh, people still get around, so. Well, Hillside Tire is going to take care of you and make sure Absolutely. that you and your family are going to be safe driving in your vehicle, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right, come see Tom. More at your leisure head. Polaris makes the off-road's best, and now is the time to buy. Take home the most powerful side-by-side -side ever made, the new 168-horse Razor XP Turbo, and get a free two-year warranty. Or grab the ultimate combination of price and performance with a $3,000 rebate on Razor XP 1000. Hurry in for huge deals during the Polaris Full Throttle Sales Event.
Welcome to Castle Country. A land as diverse as its people and a rural area that relies on responsible use of the land. Here, you will find adventure at every turn. From mountain peaks to sun-swept deserts, Castle Country has it all. What a great time to get out and ride the ATV and UTV. Summertime's here. How are some of the key things that one can do in order to prevent an accident or an injury on these? is to know your machine. Sometimes when you're on an ATV, you have the ability to shift your weight and move around. On a UTV, you're somewhat restricted. Do a couple of things. Read your owner's manual, take an education course, and become familiar with your machine and start slowly. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Rediscover your sense of adventure. Welcome to San Juan County. Discover the past. A change of place. Utah San Juan County, where life is elevated. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We have just scratched the surface, barely scratched the surface of this amazing place down here. And now we're gonna focus on the miles and miles of trails that we can ride. Yeah, right from here, you can get all the way to Schofield Reservoir or Electric Lake, or you can actually ride back into Price if you need to pick up some supplies with your four-wheelers. So where do you wanna to go today? Well, I thought we'd head up to these uh, falls up here. And one thing nice is when you come out here, they have these cool little maps right here at the office that you can pick up. But you can see right here, they have the Gordon Creek Falls Trail and Trestle. And Train Trestle. And so let's go check that out and see what this, uh, see what some of this riding's all about. Carbon County in the last several years has been developing trail systems for ATV side-by-sides. And they have actually put together approximately 250 miles of ATV trail systems throughout Carbon County. One of the trailheads actually starts right outside of our main gates and you'll be able to access several different areas of Carbon County up through our different washes, the plateaus. Uh, the views and the vistas are just amazing and that has all been promoted by the Carbon County Office of Tourism. It's, it's just amazing. I think it's a beautiful area for floor wheeling or whatever. It's, it's really a fun area. Yeah, I'm definitely going to tell all kinds of family members and, and people about this, yeah. My suggestion would be to stop by the Office of Tourism, check out the trails maps there. The best way to get a hold of us, if you want to go to the carboncountyutah.gov site, uh, there is a link to the shooting range. You can contact me personally, 435-650-7728 uh, is my number out here at the range. I've got my phone with me all the time. Feel free to give me a call. I think whoever, uh, whoever's listening should come and check this place out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the trail's pretty awesome. It's uh, nice groomed trails. You can go um, pretty fast, but, but you also have the aspect of the, the beauty of the rocks and everything. Uh, great place to come. So, Darren, what was your favorite part of our weekend? You know, it's kind of odd to say, but it was the archery, actually. Because that was really challenging to me. You know, the, the shooting, we've done shooting before and whatever, but I'd never really shot a bow like that. And, and then to have the animals out in the bushes made, I, it added a whole nother realm to it, didn't it? That was the cool thing for me too. I'd never done archery and I've always thought, you know, it looks really cool and look, it looks easy when other people do it, but it's not, it's a, it's a difficult thing. It's, and, that's a really yeah. unique uh, place to go be able to practice your bow hunting. That was awesome. We have been having a great time on the trails out here. There are so many and those, the scenery's beautiful. Yeah, it's really been fun. It's easy to get to. The road just basically coming right out of the shooting range, heads you up here, and it's uh, well placard uh, all the way through here. So it's, it's pretty easy to find and fun to just kind of run around and explore. While we explore a little bit around here, why don't you take a look at today's Trailhead Adventure, brought to you every week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And this week we have a question for you. And it would be? <laughs> it would be. What do you get when you cross a motorcycle, a Jeep, and a hot rod club all together for a good cause? Hmm, I have no clue. Let's check it out and find out. It shows that we're all one family. No matter what you drive, we are a family. 
Drag racers, race. Jeepers, Jeep. Motorcyclists, motorcycle. Each experience is unique. Each one different from the others, offering a thrill defined by the ride and the environment. Today, however, the differences between cars, 4x4s, and motorcycles are taking a back seat to what they have in common. A love of exploration, community, and charity. We're here to support a, a friend of mine who lost her daughter in a car accident. We're here to raise money, show off some, some good cars, and hopefully raise a decent amount of money for her. When Bailey Lynn Roop passed away tragically in a car accident on July 28th of this year, her family was left picking up the pieces, both emotionally and financially. Lucky for them, their extended family grew larger than they ever could have imagined. Today's event is the culmination of that growth as different car clubs, 4x4 groups, and motorcycle organizations have come together to put on a charity show to help their friends. Instead of a somber mood, the atmosphere is one of celebration as club members reminisce on fond memories of a cherished young woman. Riders and off-roaders have arrived from across the country to show their support, and even though most of them never personally met Bailey, they heeded the call to help nonetheless. That support that we can give that family that's lost somebody, that you know helps them feel connected with their community, that there are people out there who still care. Some of us don't have family, so it's just who we have to lean on in life. Um, we're not out here doing anything bad. We're just really out here having a good time and hanging out and enjoying the day and just really supporting everybody. We all go through hard times and we're just here to lean on everybody. I think in the time right now with the world, the way we're in and stuff, it helps show people that there's actually good people out there still, that we can show the love to everyone, that if someone needs help, they can reach out to a car club, a Jeep club, my motorcycle club, that they'll be able to help out and step up to show that there's good people out there. Custom 4x4s stand side by side with classic roadsters, motorcycles, and modern racers as members of different clubs and different sporting communities entirely get to know each other and the features of each vehicle. Bailey's mother, Michelle, turned her Subaru WRX into a memorial for the event, complete with a loving tribute to remind visitors why everyone is here tonight. Often members of 4x4 clubs, racing leagues, and biker bands are perceived as riotous, uncaring, even destructive. In reality, the truth is as far from that negative image as possible. Many times, these communities are the most charitable and inclusive that you will find, inviting members of the public to join them and discover a new love. While they spend most of their time in disparate environments enjoying dissimilar experiences, these groups have proven that family is about more than what you ride. That is what today has been all about. It just, um, it means a lot to me, and I know my daughter would, would be very thankful. I know she is, so yeah, I just want to say thank you, and I, and I love them so much. Deep down, heartily, everyone will step up and come together, even though you're a different club. Every cent that we raise is going straight towards the family, and hopefully next year, when we do this, it'll be bigger, and we can help another family in need. Racers, off-roaders, and bikers may not ride together, but they certainly are a part of the same family. From the Trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. Our Trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and you'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life.
It's hunting season. Families come together. Friends reconnect. Parents include and teach their children. Make this year's hunt great with a new utility side-by-side -side or ATV. Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, and Yamaha side-by-sides and ATVs. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Does your machine need to be tuned up? Need accessories? Stedman's Parts and Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. In a place that is beyond words, there is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here at the North Spring Shooting Range, and uh, we've been out riding. We just got back. It's dark, obviously. <laughs> we were and, out a little uh, too long, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's so many trails out there that you can access right from here. Um, and it, it, is, it is a dry camping area, but uh, you know, there's lots of room to kind of spread out. There's picnic tables and things like that. Fire so, pits. Yeah, yeah, so there's uh, a lot of different things you can do when, when you're here. And we've had a great day. We've seen a lot of fun stuff. Um, we're excited to have some dinner and get to bed. <laughs> yeah. But right now we need to check out our uh, calendar. calendar of events. And uh, we have the side-by-side -side, uh, Adventure Jamboree down in St. George coming up on the 10th, 11th, and 12th. So Yes, and speaking of side-by-sides, our sticker winner this week is Mike Mestic, and he had his side-by-side, side-by-side <laughs> with AYL stickers on him. So, Mike, you need to call 801-947-8888 and claim and your prize. Claim your prize. You have a, a gift certificate to Rifab. Rifab, and they have all kinds of neat things for your 4x4. $400. But right now, we're going to take a look at next week's show. Incredible canyons are fairly common out west, but next week, Reese Stein is taking us to one in New York that will change how you think of the East Coast. Then come with me, Stephen Human, as I discover one ATV route that has people jumping boulders. It'll all make sense as we hit the trail in one week at your leisure. Well, next week's show looks great. You know what looks really great? What? That bed. I'm going to go use it. Oh, honey, wait. We have to finish the show. Oh, he never cooperates. Well, remember, there's adventure around every bend. Just go out and find it at, at your, your leisure. leisure. So, what is the new tagline now? We have a new tagline? <laughs> Dang it all. It's around every bend. bend? Yes, Adventures around every corner. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang it all. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, Remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix a family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.